This is Rod Kusin and uh, Squoman for Risk. We're uh, here to talk a little further about our range bar uh, indicator. We've uh, set this up on the large contract uh, symbol at sp.c, and th this is this is incredible. This is really incredible. Pick any pick any day. <laughs> at any time and you can see range bar opportunities for trading and if you haven't looked at if you're not sure what we're talking about when we refer to range bars go back to some of the previous videos I'm just surprised that it is so clear on the large contract and there are so many opportunities because when you start looking at the large contract my goodness, the opportunities for trading the E-mini become incredible. Now, I've just, at random, grabbed a period from back in December. We'll just go all the way back here to the beginning of the chart. And the, the point of the matter is you're, you're going to want to look for a range bar that is, in some respect, intersected by a subsequent bar. All right, we won't get into the specifics. We just want an intersection. And you can see pretty well how frequently this works. Now, here we've got a range bar that was not intersected within the same day. Several more work. So we're going to just hold that bar. I'm going to turn the color to, let's just say, yellow as a unfulfilled uh, range bar. But by and large, the, the bulk of these bars are going to be filled. Okay, and You can see how that was filled on the subsequent day. Big move. Big move. All of these down bars, all the way back to here, you can see those were filled. Back down here, this one was filled. Then we've got these bars up here. This one's filled. Now that apparently is going to take some time for that to get filled, but it will. In any event, you can just see numerous opportunities. Some, some small, but some fairly big. And we're talking several points on, on many of these trades. You can just trade them with a simple stochastic. You don't even have to get fancy. You just need to know where they are. Big move here. All the way back down. Another opportunity for, for range bars right in here. Let's just log that. See all of these end up getting intersected. This one over here. These do, these do. We've got one way up here. All of these get intersected. This one ultimately does. And when we have a gap up like this, then all of these are ultimately intersected because of the uh, movement in the overnight market. And we're, ju we're just plotting the day market, incidentally. So where is our... Okay, that's as far as we went here. Let's just, uh, let's just grab another day. Okay, you'll, you'll just watch this, how this works at random. Okay, I'll grab... Let's go to February. Let's just go to the 10th. So we'll go four weeks back from there. Let's go all the way back. You see how each one of these gets intersected? No, we have, I'm sorry, I'm not at the I'm at the end. Let's go back here.
Okay, there we are at the uh, end of the chart. So we have some bars here. So we'd have to drop to this bar here for all of this to get intersected. And where's our slide bar? Here it is. So we had a big move up. All right, so that could have easily gotten stopped out on over here, here, here. Now we've got some more in here. So we left uh, left a footprint down here. If it's not intersected within the first probably one or two days I would I would ignore it but let's just let's just plot them anyway Got another part there so this is a big run up left a few footprints unfulfilled before it begins to move back down Okay, so this gap down satisfied all of this. Same with there. So we've got a few unfulfilled, but not that many. Okay. All of these get filled. Now we've got another bar way up here. Just put the line there. Big move down. So that bar way down here ultimately gets filled. You can see where these are getting filled. This ultimately gets filled. Leaves that price. We've got another gap. Or pardon me, not a gap, but a uh, range bar. Plenty of opportunity for trading. Wow. There's that high. That finally gets hit. All of these get hit. No bars that particular day. And then here, see all of that. And then we're to the end of our chart. So the point of the matter is you can place the indicator on the large contract, have a target in mind as a result, and do very, very well. <laughs> Just throw a simple stochastic on it. You really don't need much more. Now, of course, we can get real, real specific, but uh, the point is you've got a target with a high probability of being hit and with that kind of a probability, utilizing uh, a good system to maximize these targets can make a ton of money. My goodness, it's really, really interesting. Now, we don't market the range bar indicator as a separate indicator. It's in our package. It's available on our website. If you'd like a demo, please give us a call. We'll be happy to show you more. We do many things above and beyond just this to help our traders succeed. And we'll be happy to go into the details on that uh, at your convenience. So give us a call. This is Rod Kusin and Spooman for Risk.